What's going on, sub friends? Today, I'm gonna to show you how to switch your rear view mirror from a manual unit to one with the automatic, the compass, and the home link. Let's give it a shot. So the first thing you wanna do is obviously purchase a rear view mirror. Now, it can be from either a Saab 9.3 or a 9.5. Now the auto dim with the compass and the home links, they did switch the connector on it depending on the year. I don't know specifics on the years, but what I guess is from the older ones, they had a female connector on here, which actually looked like this one right here. So if it's from an older version, I wanna say like an 02, 03, all the way to the transition year of 07, then it's probably gonna be this female one. I should say 02, 03 to 06 is more than likely gonna be this female style. And then 07 and onward should be the male one. So 07 was kind of that funky year where the 07s had the older generation Saab body, but then the newer car interior like my 2008 right here. But uh, yeah, I don't know if there's a part number on here that may help you but um, it's pretty easy if you look at the photos of the mirror you're buying, should have the appropriate connector. Now, the benefit to going to a junkyard or even some cases on eBay, you'll get both connectors. So that way, if you need to cut and splice, it's not bad. And what I recommend doing is, if your vehicle has the male end on it, like the older 2006 and older, um, and you get this connector, I would cut the male connector off of this and splice this or solder it on. But like for instance, this should pretty much be a plug and play. This mirror is from a 2008, whereas this car is a 2008. So this end is male. The male or the uh, connector up here is female. So it should pretty much be plug and play. So let's get started. So disassembly is very easy. You'll want to get a trim removal tool and you'll stick it up in here and you just pry down a little bit it'll pop down like such and then swing down the end so let me show you here so you have these black clips right there and then these clips on the end is where it just swings like such down so you just need to stick the trim removal tool in here and don't worry about these those actually just hold the headliner in um, you're just looking for these black pieces that are held in place around here so once that is removed, go to the front here and you don't even need a trim removal tool. You just kind of get your nail in here and this pops off. So same kind of thing. There's tabs here where this slides up into there like that. So just get your finger in the end, pry it down and it will slide out very easily. So here you'll be able to see the three Torx bits. I I believe it's a T25 Torx bit, and that'll remove this. But before you do that, you want to get this panel off too. So before you go too far, you'll want to get your T20 Torx and remove these two screws right here. One right there and one right there. And just kind of work your fingers around the edge and it pops off like such so now the reason why I say to disassemble this before you even purchase the mirror is to see what connector you have and how you do that is hard to see but right there is the factory connector so this is the original mirror of the car. So this car has never had a auto dim mirror in it whatsoever. But being 08, it'll already have the connector in it. So press up on the bottom connector here and should be able to kind of fish it out. There you have it. And there's the female connector. So like I mentioned before, the older generation body style, the more curvy one, 03 and onward to around like 06, 
they should have the male connector if they have a connector. Now, not all years have a connector from what I recall, but if it's the like 07, that weird body transition year, interior of that transition model year, that should switch over to this female connector. And same thing with the mirror. So let's plug this in, see if it works. Now once you expose this connector and verify it, everything looks the same. The only other thing to do is plug it in. There it is. Go ahead and unplug it by pushing in these two tabs and it should release like that because you don't want it hanging by the plug. So now take your T27 Torx bit and un uh, do these three bolts and then we'll lower this old mirror and reverse order it. Install the new one. So unfortunately I wasn't able to get it on camera. It's a little awkward to do it one hand filming and undoing the screws, but basically there's three T27 Torx screws and they remain in the mirror and with the new one you'll get the new uh, screws in there as well. But uh, yeah, you just undo it, drops down, not that big of a deal, and you set the new one in place, tighten it down, and now we're going to be connecting the ends here. Fish this up through here. You want to clip it back into its original spot and you can see the wires aren't pinched in any fashion. Now it's just reverse order. So to begin, you'll take your one panel right here. That goes in the middle. This pops into place and then you will install the two other Torx bits right here. It's also a good point to mention if you want to switch out any of these bulbs, now is a good time because you have this cover off. Uh, for me, I just use a couple LED bulbs. Install and tighten the two T20 Torx bit screws here. So now we'll install this little guy right here. And if you notice the tabs at the end, you'll want to put it into place, kind of move it back and then lift up. And it's just held in with clips and pressure. On the last part of the puzzle, the lens cover. And that is held in with pressure as well. Set your mirror. Now, let's see if it works. So it's very important whenever you install this mirror to first check if you have the existing harness. If you do not, it's still not that difficult to add one in. So this modification is highly sought after for OG original Saab 9.3 people. And because I don't want to limit guys, because of course there's gals out there that have Saab 9.3s. And whenever you buy your mirror, make sure you get the harness that plugs into it. So, you know, the harness on the mirror that I purchased was a male end. This is the female end. This was existing on my car, so obviously I don't need this, but if you need it, then cut this off the uh, existing vehicle, and then you can use it to your advantage. So there's five wires here. There's a black, there is a brownish, there is a baby blue color, a green, and a reddish pink with a blue line in it. So there's five wires here, and whenever you wire this into your vehicle, Again, if you do not have the existing harness like myself, you only need three wires. So you have the reddish wire here, that's going to be a keyed ignition source, meaning once you turn the key to the accessory or the on position, then the compass of the mirror will turn on, or actually the mirror in general will get power, so the home link and so on and so forth. So you do not want this to a constant volt, meaning you don't want this plugged directly into the battery because the compass will always be on and it will slowly drain your battery, so keyed ignition. Now the black is kind of obvious. This is going to be a ground. Now you can run this all the way down the A-pillar, all the way down here, but it's easiest to ground up in here. I'm 
certain you'll more than likely find some exposed metal that you can just put an eyelid on here and ground it. Now the third remaining wire, which I don't know if it's going to be the gray, the blue, or the green, is going to be the reverse wire. So on an automatic car, you have the brake light switch, you can tap into that. So once you throw it into reverse and your taillights kick on, then you actually want this to dim down. So it's very easy to make the mistake that you add another power to, the, to one of these third wires, but that's not the case. Figure out which wire you need, go to the reverse, because uh, otherwise this will not work properly. And another thing to mention is that the two remaining wires, you don't need, you only need three out of the five. The other two would actually go to the left outside in the right outside mirrors if they had the auto dim function as well. So that's why you only need three out of four. Unless of course you're somewhat crazy and you're trying to retrofit auto dimming outside mirrors as well. But yeah, there's more information online. I'm not gonna go in depth too much in this video about it, but I just kinda wanted to graze over it. Not a difficult install if you don't have the connector like myself. Time to see if this thing works. Compass is working. Now, time to test the auto dim function. So now it should be slowly going back to its normal setting. So I know it's a little hard to see here, but once you install your mirror, you're going to want to do a calibration. So how you do this, and right now it's saying north, which is actually correct, but once I installed it, it wasn't showing the right thing. It was showing either south and west or north and east. So whenever you buy this, you don't know what region of the country the person was from because again, it's used, so you wanna calibrate it. So what you do is you hold in this button right here, this is considered button number five, under the auto, you hold that in, and then in the top right where it normally says the direction that you're going, it will say zone. So you hold it for six seconds approximately, and then there'll be one of 15 regions that you can select. For me, I am center of Ohio, so I select numero nine, and in theory, it's supposed to work. And if you live in uh, Canada, you have regions here as well. But that actually didn't even work for me. So what you wanna do, uh, hold that same button, button number five, right here under auto, hold it for nine to 10 seconds, and then it'll actually say calibration where it says the direction. And then on here in the owner's manual, it basically tells you to drive around like a moron in circles until it figures itself out. But what I recommend doing is I ended up commuting from work 30, 40 minutes every single day, so I did the calibration before I left work and drove home, and by the time I got home, it figured itself out. So, now you know. Pretty cool. So that's a very easy mod that you can do on your Saab 9.3 with a 9.5 or 9.3 rear view mirror. Now you get the compass, you get the auto dim function, and also the home link. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, be sure to drop a comment. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. If you wanna see any videos in the future, be sure to comment down below. Thanks for watching.